Today we're headed to the backyard to do a little barbecuing with some awesome spice rubs from our friends at the Spice and Tea Exchange. We're gonna grill up an awesome pork tenderloin with this absolutely delicious smoked barbecue rub. The Spice and Tea Exchange is loaded with all sorts of barbecue goodies. So if you wanna get out there and do some grilling this year, you need to pick up some rubs with these guys. They know their rubs well. Of course, there's a lot of rubs out there and a lot of them are very laden and ridden with salt is what I call it. These ones though from the Spice and Tea Exchange, not at all. Packed with flavor and the ingredients you would put into a spice rub as if you made it yourself. We're going to be grilling up here with the smoked barbecue rub. We got it in their griller sampler. But if you get that griller sampler, it comes with five different rubs. It also comes with alderwood smoked, sea salt, which I absolutely love as well. The Cajun blend, absolutely delicious. Great with some crawfish, Jamaican jerk seasoning and the butcher's rub, perfect for a steak. And if you mention the taste spot, when you order from them on their website, they're gonna give you the Tuscany blend absolutely free as well when you order the uh, griller sampler pack. Highly recommend doing it. Let's get to our meat here. We have a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous pork loin right here that we're gonna put out there on the grill in a two-step process. First, we gotta get the seasoning on it before we get out to the grill. Now, whenever you're seasoning meat, you want to season it very liberally. You hear me talk about it all the time, but just a pinch here and there is simply not going to do it because a lot of this will fall off during the grilling process. So get it on a plate like we got here. Let the seasonings fall down to the side as you continue to season the whole thing. Get that seasoning rub all over it. it smells absolutely delicious already. And get that guy coated up really nicely. That, my friends, is looking really good. Now the two-step process I was talking about goes something like this. First, we're gonna sear our pork loin on all sides. That's gonna get it nice and crusty on the outside and keep the juices in. Then we're gonna transfer to a sheet pan, a little bit more indirect heat so it doesn't really cook one part of the meat and leave the inside raw. That's not at all what you want. You want a nice, even cook on this entire thing. And that's a very, very key step. If you don't have a sheet pan, you can use tin foil. I just prefer to use sheet pans. It keeps it a little more, uh, a little more even, if you will, throughout the entire cooking process. Let's get it on the grill. Get it right there, right on the direct heat, because like I said, you really want to get this thing seared on all sides fairly quickly. So we're going to let it sit there for about a minute, flip it to another side, and keep searing it. All right, our pork loin is seared really nicely on all sides. I'm going to transfer it to the sheet pan. I kind of have one sheet pan I use for all grilling. It looks black and burned to death, but it works great when I'm out here on the grill for this very purpose. Put a guy in there just like that. We'll turn the heat down on the burners to about a medium or so. And then we're gonna shut the door. We'll let the pork loin roast in there now for about 15-20 uh, minutes or so. Could be a little bit longer, could be a little bit shorter, just depends on the temperature that your grill gets up to. So keep an eye on the internal temperature of that meat so it cooks just the way you like it. All right, our pork tenderloin is all set to go. Fresh off the grill with a smoked barbecue rub from the Spice and Tea Exchange. You can just smell the aroma combined with that pork. Oh, it just smells absolutely awesome. I wish you could, you could be experiencing this right now. It's been resting now for about uh, five minutes or so. You wanna make sure you rest your meats after you get them off the grill or off the pan or whatever. Keeps all those juices inside. You cut into it too quick, like I always say, it's gonna be a nightmare. You're gonna lose all those juices, so make sure you let that meat rest. Let's cut in. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Nice and juicy on the inside. Got that nice caramelized crust on the outside with that smoked barbecue rub and the caramelization from the grill. I think we have a winner. Mm. Super tender, super juicy. And that spice rub just brings out so much flavor in that meat. I gotta get going because I gotta eat this. But remember, get these spice rubs from the Spice and Tea Exchange. Get that griller sampler pack with those five different flavors. And they'll throw in that Tuscany blend for absolutely free when you mention thetastespot.com. Great stuff. If you get a chance, check out some of their stores. They have a lot of retail locations as well. In fact, ta-da, retail locations. <laughs> Great stuff there too. I'm Tony Bruschi. Thanks for watching.